Okay, so, you know, uh, like I use the languaging as a course teacher, like illusions or the dream world. And I was asked a great question on, you know, what about, you know, sort of saying this, could, could a person not become crazy uh, rather than enlightened or something with all this kind of languaging? And I, I'd say, um, so here's the thing. The thing is that the, um, I mean, the whole thing with Hawkins was that when in the ego, it hasn't got the capacity to discern truth from falsehood. So it's very naive, and it can believe, it can believe, uh, it can believe whatever, basically, and that, that leads to a lot of problems. So then, uh, so how do you? So the thing then is, uh, is uh, you could say it's due to the orchestration of circumstances. It's going to be a funny answer. Orchestration of circumstances is to whether a spiritual seeker. Uh, bumps into people, places, situations, or, or um, groups, it, and to what extent those groups are aligned on absolute truth, and to what extent those groups are aligned with levels of falsehood in the teachings and the people there. So, uh, what's an example? I mean, you know, there, there's a difference between someone who's blissed out and in oneness and someone who's like a narcissist uh, and, and going around with no conscience, killing everyone. Uh, and, and, uh, so, uh, and also the highest, the highest states are also similar to the lowest states. You go into formless states, like formless bliss and uh, formless darkness. So uh, now to the lay person, someone in an enlightened, blissed out state and someone who's like uh, sort of psychopathically dead, you know, it might, it might, they might be perceived as being, and not being able to discern the difference, you know. And also there is the danger of the ego's incapacity to see falsity in semi-spiritual stuff and groups, you know, which then leads to um, spiritual errors being taken on board uh, and so that can lead to pain and disillusionment uh, so when uh, teachers or teachings have distortions of truth which the spiritual seekers take on board naively and then uh, get disillusioned with afterwards so in terms of how do you know well i mean it's, it's this thing of like um, and it, when you're at a low level of consciousness uh, actually, um, on a certain level, you could say you don't know. What's the difference between a true teacher and a false teacher, a good group and a, and a God group? Someone who's speaking to you uh, and saying that they're enlightened, who's delusional, and someone who's, who's speaking and is supposed to be enlightened, and they are. So to someone who's naive, there is no capacity uh, to, to differentiate the true from the false. And so it's quite possible um, one could go to a teaching or a teacher and, and actually become psychopathic or delusional or very dysfunctional uh, and, uh, and actually, but also believe that they are God or something you know, or have voices in their head telling them they're God so, and then also, but it, could, it doesn't mean that also the opposite can't happen that someone with a low level of dis spiritual discernment could go to a group seemingly luckily and be given teachings and go into an illuminated state. So once you're in a more advanced spiritual state, you then have discernment, which you don't have when you're quite new and quite naive to differentiate the difference. So you've got, you, for example, you've got two groups and two teachers in town, and they both claim to be uh, leading you to enlightenment, for example, and one can actually take you to a delusional state um, and the other one could take you to enlightenment. So, how do you differ? Well, you know, for me, at a low level of, of spiritual awareness, you won't be able to tell the difference, and you won't be able to know the difference. Uh, uh, so you could actually be in a delusional state where you believe you're God, and you're not. You're just delusional. And uh, there's also the place where you could be in an enlightened state, or actually it's the absence of a you. The enlightened state is beyond personhood. Uh, and uh, and so that's the real deal. So, 
when you get to more advanced states, you're able to intuit or discern or have a sixth sense, or you're able to use muscle testing, and you kind of know it's true, or if you become spiritually sophisticated and you get to a reasonably good place, you, you do get a development of spiritual discernment to tell, no, this person is coming from a true, authentic, liberated state. And this person believes they are, but they're, not, they're, they're delusional. So, yeah, that would be the answer which um, um, I would say on that one. <laughs>